Welcome to Half-Life Alex. To listen to a commentary node, pick up the floating hologram of a radio headset in front of you and simply put it on your head. Our first prototype was extremely rudimentary. And as a result, we built dozens of prototypes over the next few years. Teaching design elements is always tricky. We knew we'd need to do significant work. First, the players did not like to be shot at. We learned that sometimes a character performance can have unintended consequences. We were already grappling with the challenge of keeping this level well paced and within scope. There were other problems too. We didn't want this mechanic to feel too gamey or magical. In VR, we found it was sometimes all too easy to create an intense atmosphere. But how should we fictionally place them in this destroyed space? The problem was that playtesters felt cheated that they didn't get to destroy the Strider. So we spent months refining this section. This looked like things had gone horribly wrong, but players themselves consistently cited this as a high point of their playthroughs. We authored a set of individual key press sounds to be driven by animation. These sounds helped alert players to the presence of barnacles. We used a physical gesture to activate the pole instead of a button press. To provide the controller's instantaneous velocity and acceleration data, the liquid surface is then displaced by a number of sine waves, modulated with the agitation value to create rippling waves. We created the tongue as a particle system. Players once again were fighting the reviver as intended, and they no longer wanted to take it home as a pet. And the club sandwich speech was resurrected. We also designed the death animations to emphasize the abdomen exploding and ensured that an exploded abdomen chunk was left behind after the antlion was dead. And their dialogue is designed to inform the player that the strider they have found may not be dead. We updated the sounds to be more threatening, but for this headcrab, we brought back some of the cuter sounds to sell the headcrab's frustration with the mannequin. Classic headcrab nonsense. 